The following story has been brought to you by storiestoinspire.org. There was a young man who was married for many years and he didn't have any children. And he kept davening every day by Shema Koyleinu. He said, Hashem, I want a child. Please give me a child. Every day he woke up early to daven the Nate's minion. He daven Aloy Sashachar minion. And he daven and he, he, his heart out. He daven his heart out by Shema Koyleinu. Hashem, give me a child. But the years and the years passed. So much so that he was ready to give up almost. He dove in for 20 years for a child, he wasn't answered. And he decided, you know what, one day he said, that's it. I dove in all these years, I kept asking Hashem for a child. You know what, sometimes Hashem gives you and He answers you and He says yes. And sometimes He says no. I'm not going to dive in for a child anymore. I'm going to accept what Hashem decreed for me. I'm not going to dive in by Shema Koyleinu. I'm just going to accept it. I'm going to dive in for other things. And that morning he gets up for Shacharis, he comes to Shul, he's davening Shema in Esrei, he's up to Shema Koyleinu, and a battle is raging through his mind. Should he daven for the child? Should he not and hold back? He doesn't know what to do. And all of a sudden, he hears the cry of a baby. There's a baby in Shul crying out loud. What's a baby doing at this early morning minion? And he starts crying to Hashem. He starts davening again. He says, Hashem, give me a child just like that one. I want a baby just like that baby. Please Hashem. And his heart opens up and breaks. And he pours out everything he has into that tefillah. And by the time he's done, he feels that was the tefillah that broke through Shemayim. He looks around to find out what was that baby. He sees one of his friends. He's holding a baby in his hands. He says, what's going on? Why is the baby here? He says, well, the baby was up all night. My wife had a long night with the baby, was up all night with the baby. Finally, she put him to sleep. I said, you know what? I'm going to shul now. I'll give you some time to rest. I'll take the baby with me. The baby was sleeping in the carriage. And a Shemayin Esrei, the baby just started crying. And that's when this man understood. It was at that time. When he needed it most, when he was ready to give up, but he held on, he held on. And Hashem gave him the ability to cry out to him, sent that baby to cry, which in turn ignited a fire in his heart, inspired him to cry and daven like he never davened before. And yes, within that year, he was zeichov to a child of his own. And sometimes in life, we feel so alone. But it's precisely at that moment, Hashem wants us to be strong, to keep on crying out, to keep on davening, to keep on shouting. And just when we think we can't do it, that at that moment, we are Klal Yisrael. That's why we called Yisrael. We can do anything. Hashem will give us the inspiration we need. He'll give us the chizik we need. He'll send, he'll send it in different ways, inspiring our hearts to daven even better, to become an even greater person, to spread out His light in the world. Be'ezer Hashem, make the greatest Kiddush Hashem possible. Enjoyed this story? Come again. Bring a friend. StoriesToInspire.org